Toy Gander fun fact. Today... <laughs> Hey, if you guys like what I do on this channel, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. Unless it was this past Wednesday, in which I didn't. Forget, forget about, about that. that. All the figures that I'm reviewing today are from minifigures.com. Uh, they're really cool because they print on actual Lego minifigure pieces. So you get the quality, you get the, the great look to them. It's all custom printed and they get some great package to go along with them. So make sure you check them out. I'll put links in the description below. Minifigure, number one. This first figure is Cupid, and what a great design it is. To be honest, um, they sent it to me before Valentine's Day, so I kind of missed the boat on that. Whoops. I really like the design choices on this. Um, I like the fact that they used this crossbow. And, you know, this is a stud shooter crossbow, but instead of putting the studs, they actually use these these little translucent heart and custom printed heart pieces on there. What a great design that is. I, I thought that was really um, ingenious of how they put that in there. He does include two of those, so let's take that off. And I really want to pay attention to the design on the front torso here. Great overall printing. You can see the bandolier goes across the top right there. Has arrows within that. He also has like a satchel right on the bottom there and it has some notes probably love letters or something along those lines he's got a tattoo on the side here it says love with a bullseye in the middle for the o he has a custom side print right here a gauntlet which looks really nice and i love the use of these wings how these wings are put on with this translucent neck piece and it's just done very very well you can see a little bit of sandals right there let me take that off i'm going to take this hair piece and head off Great head print too, by the way. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. He includes two head prints. It looks like he's getting shot with an arrow right there. Great design. Love the five o'clock shadow, by the way. Let me take that off. He, he's got like a little bit of a grit to him. And you can see great back design right there. He has the quiver in the back, he's got the arrows, and the diaper kind of goes right through and transitions very well into the, uh, the feet print. Just a great overall design. I have to give kudos to this one. I thought this was really cool, and I like their ingenuity on it. Next minifig. Minifig is Aphrodite, and like I said before, they include some great packaging that goes along with these minifigures. Just take some extra time and put the design on there, a custom design, and even have a backstory for each one of these characters. I think that's really cool. Along the same lines as the Cupid print, this is done very well. Uh, some unique things that you typically don't see LEGO do is you see like on the front printing of the dress, you see the actual like LEGO leg right there, and it's custom printed on there instead of an actual Lego mold. I love the use of this triangle piece to create the dress, which Lego does all the time, but you don't see like uh, Lego printing that Lego leg on there. And I think it's just a unique take. I, I think it's done very nicely and the actual color of it almost matches perfectly with the, uh, the traditional Lego color. So I do like that. Great printing on the front. Besides the printing on the torso and the dress, you get some great custom printing on the side here. You get some also, uh, same custom printing on this side, but a very unique rose that's on her hair print. No idea how they actually got that printed on there because it's a wavy print, but it's done very nicely and it looks really good. I think she only has one head print. Let me double check. Nope, two head prints. Man, that is a bonus. And this is kind of like a la -de da type look on her. Um, and then looking at the back, she's got some great custom back printing. If I had one complaint or one thing I would have liked to have seen, I'd like to see maybe a little bit of printing on the bottom part of this dress. Just because I think they did such a great job here and a great job on the back, I'd like to maybe see that transition down a little bit further. But that's a small miter complaint. And the only other part to notice is this uh, rose, rose that's in her hand. Looks very cool. Next minifig. I'm pretty sure minifigures.com has a few Quentin Tarantino fans over there because I've seen this character and a few others on their website that is from his movies. Now this one is Jules Winfield. He's from Pulp Fiction and just looking at this overall character, they nailed the look. 
Samuel L. Jackson, if you know who that is, um, this absolutely looks like him. Love the size, sideburns. I love the serious face. And he just got that really, really iconic look. I think it looks really nice. I like the... Um, uh, like the tuxedo look or I guess it's like a suit and tie look just looks really good very basic print but absolutely nails the character one printing on the face and uh, he's obviously included now this I would imagine is not a Lego official weapon but um, you have to have them with this type of weapon if you're going to represent this character next character Now, who did you think was going to be next? You can't have Jules Winfield without Vincent Vega. Now, in my opinion, he's a lesser character, but he's still very interesting, and it looks absolutely like John Travolta. He's got that interesting hairdo. Only one head print like the other one, but uh, it, it, they go hand in hand. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Next character. anything about the Chinese New Year, it is a big deal. They completely shut down everything and party and celebrate for a week, maybe even two weeks straight. In the U.S., it's only one day, but over in China, it is huge. On the minifigure, this looks really good. I like what they did with the torso print right here. I think it's very nicely detailed, great shadowing on the side to show that female form, and I like how it transitions from the front torso all the way to the legs. They have that nice uh, like that little cutout right there to show the, the top of the dress or I guess the top of the shirt and it even has some side printing right here to continue that on almost 360 degree printing I thought they might have done something like with Aphrodite but I guess this is probably the type of outfit at least I assume so uh, only one face print I believe let's take it off yeah only one face print right there but that's understandable I think it looks good decent back printing looks okay right there and this I believe is also a Lego official fan so overall a uh, great job on this fig time for a few shout outs Joker Boss Films Crazy Fox with a zero and Parker Mepstead huge thumbs up goes out to you guys thank you so much for watching Toy Gander and now guys it's that time of the video there's one figure somewhere on the screen that's just not quite right the first three subscribers who find out what is wrong and puts it in the comments below I will give you a shout out in the next video guys thank you so much for watching and until next time you can help us take a gander wait 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 before you click away why don't you click one of these other Toy Gander videos? If you like this one, you're definitely going to like these. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload twice a week, one on Wednesday, one on Saturdays, and you don't want to miss out on what I upload next.